going for special times all season long again this year. And here come the Horned Frogs. They're the home team with a big crowd behind them. And back deep, James Rogers, one of the captains. They'd like to keep it out of his hands. Jordan Poyer is back there with him. So it's TCU and Oregon State, the boys of fall, as we're set from Cowboys Stadium in Arlington. Here we go. James Rogers, a yard deep. Across the 20, fights his way out to about the 24-yard line. Here's a... They shift now, and Jaquiz Rogers gets back there at the tailback spot. Play action. Cats trouble from behind. Down he goes. Ball is out. TCU's got it, I think. Battle at the bottom of the pile. Wayne Daniels came flying around the corner, and they're going to say that Oregon State got back on top. And now Cats will work from the shotgun on a third down and 13. Fires near side and in and out of the hands of the intended receiver. Aaron Nichols would have been about a yard short of the first down had he held onto it. So it's three and out for TCU. 41% a year ago, the third down conversions. And it's Skelton who keeps it. And he's got the first down. And that's the dimension that he adds. People forget about some time back. But right now, everybody split. In the shotgun as Dalton's back to throw again. Fires and it's right into the hands of Lance Mitchell. Mitchell back to the 32-yard line. 21-yard return. And Andy Dalton threw that right to them. Second down and eight. Cats in the shotgun. Set the throw. Gonna go to the end zone. Touchdown. James Rogers. There's the NFL up. Justin Cahoot in for the point after. And it's up and good. And so far in this first quarter, they aren't necessarily either. He's flushed out of the pocket. He'll keep it and diving for the first down. So he keeps his cool, gets what he can, and gets down in his first down. He's dropping sweat bullets over there already. The roof is open tonight, by the way at Cowboy Stadium. It was closed until earlier and took about 12 minutes for him to open things up. Reminder, Monday night, you can leave Lynn Browns. First down, play action. Dalton, watch it all. Deep ball, got a man, and got him in stride. On the run and all the way to the 10 is Sky Dawson. And he's a world-class track guy, and he showed his speed there. drive on a third and goal. Watch the quarterback run here as well. He's going to run. I don't know if it was by design, but he heads to the pylon. Touchdown. Andy Dalton scores. And we're an extra point. Seven, seven. Daniels again right here. The guy they got to account for in this pass protection. Cats. Fires deep on the sideline. Aaron Nichols. What a catch. What a throw. And a 90 pound tailback. He's not afraid to stick his nose in there. Cats. Over the middle and got it to James Rogers, and it's a first down, down to the 36-yard line. See, this is where I think the Oregon State passing game creates problems. Now his brother joins him in an eye backfield. Quiz in the stance. James, the tailback. Cats in trouble. Got away from it and throws it incomplete intended for James Rogers. Would have been right at the first down stick. Last year, his career long is 50. This one's from 47. Kick on the way, pushed it to the left. And the Beavers miss the scoring opportunity, and that's a happy coach on the sideline. On third down. Tucker is in the backfield with Dalton. Option, Tucker gets the pitch, Tucker gets the first down. 
Again, showing their versatility. Dalton, several times are down and long. Third and nine as Dalton has time. Running out of it. And he'll go down. Stephen, Stephen Pyle. Pyle. Yep. The big guy from his tackle position. Preseason All-American. And that ends. Catch with three wideouts. And his tight end camp on the right side. And here's Jaquiz Rogers trying to make his own space. And he does. Out for a first down. Nice run. The best of the night for Jaquiz. He got 14. Tier coming to life for the TCU defense. Three-man rush. Katz has time. And now he's going to try to tuck it and get what he can. It won't be enough, but he's close to the first down. About a yard shot. You don't see TCU's aggressively back deep. And they're going to fake the punt. The throw is complete. First down and a bunch more. Jordan Poyer on the pass. From Johnny Hecker. I saw them work on this Wednesday in practice. Hecker was a high school quarterback. At the 34-yard line. Katz. Watch it all. Going to the corner. Touchdown. Jordan Bishop. <laughs> 34 yards for the score. ago it looked like TCU would be on offense going the other way instead in two big plays it's 14 to 7 Oregon State TCU's got an answer trailing by a touchdown give to Ed Wesley They're trying to establish a little ground game and Wesley just got him so it'll be a first down run pick up of 11 three games involving teams both ranked in the top 25 the one you're watching right now is one as well as a first down run by Tucker uh, Wesley rather out to midfield. <laughs> Second down at seven. Play action. Dalton, plenty of time. Fires near side. What a catch. Inside the 20 by Curtis Clay. And boy, Andy Dalton got some smoke on that one. Pick up two or three defensive tackles coming out next year. Dalton gives it off on the sweep. Wesley to the corner. And it's first and goal. Got it, tenant of a touchdown. That time he got about a foot short. Matt Curley in motion on a second down and goal. Bootleg, throw to the end zone, wide open. Curley, touchdown. Andy Dalton, a one yard touchdown throw to Jeremy Curley. Evans in for the point after. And it's up and good. And it caps another long TCU drive. We've had some great... Deep in his own territory. Don't let TCU seize the momentum right here before halftime. Jordan Jenkins in the backfield. He came in when Quiz Rogers went out with the shoe issue. Crossing pattern. Oh, what a hit. Put on Aaron Nichols. By who else? Tank caught on the field where maybe Jeremy Curley can get a return out of one of these. Here he comes on the fly at the 43. Curley down the sideline. Oh, he would have been gone. Hecker saved a touchdown. Well, Hecker better have saved the touchdown because that was a three. So it's Andy Dalton all by his lonesome in the backfield on second and ten. Quick fire inside the 20 and a big hit put on Scott Dawson. Now he paid for that four-yard pickup too. Down, I think, to this point. I bet they throw this one, though. This one's a little longer. Oh. They put an option it to Wesley, and he's got the first down and first and goal. Inside the 10 and a pickup of 10. Block on the outside. So they've got it first and goal now. Inside the 10. Wesley again, weaving his way. Touchdown. The touchdown before halftime on a bad punt, but it certainly didn't help the cause much. 21-14, TCU. Well, good at all, does he? Seventh play of the TCU drive, opening up the third quarter. As we said, you'd like to get the football back defensively. What a grab by Bart Johnson. Going down, 
Got his hands out. They put Wesley Hotel back out in a bunch to the right. They're going to throw it back to the left, though, and it's Dawson, uh, beg your pardon, Hicks. Antoine Hicks with the catch. And he's down to the chip from that quarterback position, and they've got a lot of other guys who are leaders as well. Here's the option and the pitch to Tucker, and Tucker is inside the 15, close to another first down. Roberson with a tackle. Going to get TCU's offense off the field. The quarter's half over. Dalton throws, and it's intercepted. There's the one mistake. And Dwight Roberson with a second interception of Dalton tonight. That puts the halt on right here. Maybe the biggest of the night so far for Oregon State. Cats quick throw. Got it first down. James Rogers. And he is going to be horse collar. That's going to be another 15 yards. Boy, did you see James protecting the football? State trails by a touchdown. They got it second and 10, though, in TCU territory. And deep middle, and what a strike thrown by Katz. Down to the 22-yard line to Halahuni, and he's still heading toward the end zone. Now, the first time they were able to get him involved. Remember, they tried to throw to him on the first play of this possession. Here, Oregon State driving in TCU territory. Jaquiz Rogers got away, got the corner. Rogers! What a great block by James Rogers. James Rogers said the one yard line, a 16 yard run by Rogers to get him close. Quiz again, tiptoes in, touchdown. Loving it. So are all the Oregon State faithful. We're a point away from it. For the third tie of the Knights, it's up and good. Now Andy Dalton knows what his job is. Offense. He's got to set the protections as well. A lot of thinking as well. Dalton. There's a good throw to Curley. First down. Out of bounds. About the 42 yard first down at the 43 yard line. Here's the option that's been successful tonight. Pitch to Wesley and it's successful again. All the way inside of 45 to the 43. You know, playing vendors. Here comes a quick snap again. And it's Wesley again. And another first down run. Well, right at it. He got about 10 more and he's over 100 for the night and he's averaging about. We saw that today with Florida. They had major problems snapping the football. Did they ever? Tucker again. Bulldozing his way for what might be another first down. And right now that offensive front of TCU is kind of wearing out. Oh, Matthew Tucker. The lone setback. Dalton will do it himself. But he's got the first down. Check in with Holly Rowe. Holly. Well, guys, I feel like this is a little bit of false advertising. Grease for fall training camp. So... Pretty smart move by Gary Patterson. Yeah, it was hot as blazes down here until the last couple of days has been very nice. Mark Johnson with a very nice reception and out of bounds inside the 15. Well, Holly's right about the, the advantage and give Dalton the choice on the edge. Here's the pistol set. Third down and long two. He rides it and keeps it and scores it. Touchdown. Dalton for the score. Ross Evans for the point after. And it's good. And another lead change. Back in the favor of the Horn Frogs. And for the sixth time, seven points. Can they keep it that way? Draw play. Jaquiz Rogers with a stiff arm. A stutter move. And then he got planted by two guys. And the 35-yard line. T.J. Johnson and down. Second down at four. James Rogers coming the other way, and Big Brother's got a first down. And there you see the idea. When you say a guy plays bigger than he is, that's a perfect example. High snap. Has plenty of time. Got away from the rush. Now running for his life, and down he goes. Tracked down by Wayne Daniels. His second sack of the night. A great second effort, too, on these third downs. Big play by both teams, for both teams, right here. 
Dalton over the middle crossing pattern. Is it going to be enough? No, it's not. Nice defense. By Michael Doctor. Just what the doctor ordered right there. A big hit. And a 4-10. High snap. Draw play. Quiz Rogers trying to dance his way to the sticks. He won't get there. But he did get to the 45. Where it's going to be fourth down and three. Still a lot of time left in the ball. Career high. His career high was six catches in the Fiesta Bowl. He's got six more tonight. And now the Horn Frogs have gotten a first down again on the ground. As they're churning up yardage on the ground. They're well over 200 yards rushing. And go back in the backfield. That doesn't mean they're not running. That's now. exactly right. This time they will throw. And knocked down. What a play. Defensively by Dwight Roberson. Who has an interception tonight. And that's an even bigger play. He made the 18 yard line. Kratz is changing the play completely at the line of scrimmage. This first play is very important. The step, oh, Whoa, man. that's not what you want to do. Katz is going to kick it out of the back of the end zone. Safety, TCU, two more. I don't know that he's allowed to kick it like that. Well, Ubi Shaman did it for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, didn't he? Or was it Gary Upremium? One of those guys did that. For the first time tonight, Ryan Katz is trying to change the play, and the center, their best lineman, Alex Lennon Cole, snaps it when he Don't ran the ball. Matthew Tucker's back there with him in the Horn Frog backfield. Here's Dalton. Didn't get the first down this time, but he's within about a yard of it. As we check in with Reese Davis. Reese? Thanks. The final seconds ticking off. Gary Patterson, his team goes to 1-0, the number six team in the country. Tough loss for number 24, Oregon State, and Mike Riley. Be a long ride back to Corvallis, but a really good football Cowboy Stadium. Brad Nestle's saying so long. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Horn Frogs 30, Beavers 21, the final from Texas tonight.